Hi everybody and welcome to this live stream today. I'm Kathy Ballard, I'm a transformation coach, spiritual guide and teacher and I'm a channel and um, I work with uh, those soul searching, spiritual seeking individuals who want to live much greater lives than they're currently living and expand in all possibilities in different areas of their life. So it's great to have you here for the live or for um, for the, re the replay. Um, if you've got any questions at any time, do please pop them in the box. I'm going to be talking today about channeling. And um, you may have seen in my post earlier on that I was talking about, um, I I've been doing channeled guidance with a friend of mine every week as in verbally channeled guidance and um, we've been doing it for probably for about six months now and it's just been such an amazing journey that I wanted to kind of share a bit about that what's what the possibilities of channeling are it's really not just for hi Sonia it's not just for certain people who are born with a gift because I never would have thought that I could have done it um, it, and it, it's it is all about really accessing your higher self and bringing through information that's going to be really useful for you, powerful, healing, all those great things. Um, so how I got into channeling was about 20, it's about 20 years ago when I went to, first went to New Zealand and I was uh, went out there to help set up a consciousness centre. Um, we used to do healings every day for each other. It was part of our group thing. And this was um, channeled energy work. And so how I originally got to, uh, was taught about channeling was that it was done silently. Often uh, the client would be on the healing table and we would just be, uh, we would kind of talk with them at the beginning, set a very clear intention about what it is that they had come for. And then we would just open up the field and uh, connect with the highest guidance that we could um, and just bring that energy through and trust that it was creating whatever transformation it needed for the client. And uh, so it was all done, as I say, in silence. It was just an energy transmission. And the, it, I used to find this fascinating because um, to my logical mind, it just didn't make sense. It just was like, oh, but how can this work? Really? I really wanted to believe it, though. Uh, but I would, when I would be doing it, even with my doubts, although my intention was really strong, my, I, I wanted to be able to hold this space for this client. And I would watch them like physically change before my eyes. Like they might have tension lines around their eyes or in their face or forehead and they would ease out or some, they would start crying and just do a great big release and something would shift or their body, uh, it was more than just relaxation. It was something at a deeper level because then when I talked to them at, at the end of the session, I'd find out all of the information that, that um, or the, the experience that they'd had. Um, and so this was my introduction. And then at one point, uh, quite early on, I had my first paying client. And uh, this was a big learning for me because he was... Um, uh, oh hi Sonia, she's like she says she likes my necklace, my sacred geometry necklace. Thank you, it's my favourite. <laughs> um, so, so I had this really uh, lovely client, and he was very wealthy, and he was like a spirit junkie. And um, him and his wife, they used to go all around the world to different places to do different workshops, different have different types of healings, do retreats, all kinds of stuff like that, and. Um, he, so he had a session with me. Uh, I think he was meant to have had one with someone else and then he ended up by chance having it with me. And um, of course at that time I wasn't going to charge him. Uh, it, it, it was all still a bit new to me and although I was getting results with people, I kind of didn't trust it. And um, But he had this session with me and he told me it was the most powerful and clear session that he'd ever had with anybody out of all these people that he'd worked with. So, um, and I, I found it quite difficult to believe because for me it's, it was just something so effortless and easy and, and nice to do. Um, but it did give me a, a huge boost of confidence. Uh, and plus he gave me a lot of money for it and I'd not received money. So 
it, it was like a it made it real somehow for me and and so the more that I would would do this the more I trusted it and relaxed into it and after that I was doing client sessions uh, quite often and as I was doing the sessions I would start to see pictures in my mind or I would feel an urge to ask a question or to describe what I was seeing and just see if this resonated with them so it started to become more interactive um, rather than just the client you know lying down and relaxing I didn't have any agenda um, I was again just there for the client I was just open and so the sort of questions and comments and pictures they would all sort of be dropped into my mind from somewhere else and so I could just um, put that out to the client and see where that took us and it started to it was like um, it was like things started to untangle um, it would unlock something something would shift and I could see, they would feel it in their body they would um, they could tell something had moved they wouldn't feel the same way about certain things that they had perhaps come for um, and and so this developed more and more and while I was um, becoming confident in this channeling ab ability um, and learning how to sort of pass on this intuitive guidance it was I never I still never believed that I could become a verbal channel you know like channeling guides and letting them speak directly or um, and partly because I had a really blocked throat chakra uh, I was really shy I it was very hard for me to kind of like uh, voice what I wanted or speak stand up and speak about my pack you know speak from my power or that kind of thing I had a lot of fears and blockages there I was, I was shy I didn't like being in the spotlight and I already felt really weird because I could do this healing stuff and it, none of it made sense to me even though it was happening so um, you know I didn't I didn't have that confidence to actually um, kind of allow whatever these guides were coming through me and and using my voice because I, I couldn't trust it that much but um, and, and I think what happened in that was that I really judged myself for it. I would compare myself to other people who, who could do that. And, you know, I would find myself very much lacking or less than uh, because I couldn't bring through like an ascended master or, you know, um, St. Germain or Jesus or Archangel Michael or any of these kind of spiritual entities all these higher beings who are here to help us so I didn't really feel like I was a proper channel um, and like I always even when I was doing um, you know I used to run silent retreats <clears throat> and do up through that clients would be in silence for the weekend but I would be guiding them I would be doing uh, I would be doing like channeled meditations and um, like guided journeys and things like this but I never really considered that to be channeling it was more I'd always sort of thought about the channeling as being the information giving to a specific person about something that's very very unique to them and I just didn't trust that process but of course all of this is channeling channeling energy I mean when you're doing Reiki energy healing that's channeling Channeling is essentially bringing through higher guidance, higher vibrational frequencies of energy through for the highest good of somebody else or for yourself. So, you know, it doesn't have, don't compare yourself. If you're ex interested in exploring channeling, the best thing that you can do is to explore it your way. Allow, allow yourself to find what's right for you because the thing is about, um, the higher beings that want to work with us that want to connect with us they will use you in the way that you show up they will use you with all your filters all your talents and abilities what you're passionate about all the things that you're knowledgeable about it uses those because it's intelligent and it knows that this is easy for you and um, so you know you don't have to be like every other person who, who does channeling it's it's totally unique every single time um, part of the judging that I did of myself where I was like, oh I'm no good I can't do this was I would be watching people like channeling um, 
there was a there was a, a guy who used to channel an entity called Tabash. Um, he his name was uh, Blair Styra, and we we used to go along to these events where uh, once a month where Blair would be channeling Tabash, and it, he would be delivering profound information and guidance, and it was just very uplifting. And I just thought, oh, I can never do that. And uh, and so right there, I'd put a block in place. You know, I told myself what my limit was. And I'm really glad to say that I I kind of let that block go. It took me a while, but I started to really feel that channeling is so much more than just being able to channel one entity. Um, and when you when you channel, it's like you can you can feel your energy change as you bring through energy for somebody else. Uh, as long as you're not in your mind and you don't have an agenda and you're you kind of just um, oh thanks for the hearts. As long as you're just in that space where you're in your heart, you're connected to your heart, you're connected to your um, to to the divine, to some higher vibrational intelligence. Uh, to, to the to source to love whatever it is for you and you're asking to kind of like bring information through for a, a specific purpose and you open up to allow that to happen it will come you just have to trust that process it's actually um i started trusting it more when i started writing because my i channel when i write and um i actually did get into a a process at one point like journaling is brilliant for this if you can just uh, do stream of consciousness writing you will start to find that uh, especially if you I don't know if you know conversations with God where uh, Neil Donald Walsh started writing his series of books where he was having this conversation uh, and he would do channeled writing and he would do it where he would write a question so he would write down not Donald colon and ask his question and then he would write God colon, and then he would just do stream of consciousness writing and see what came. And uh, he, as he practiced this more and more, he discovered that there was such a, a richness and um, a depth of information that, and and uh, very loving, profound information that was coming through. And so he started writing his his books based on this system. And this is really a simple process for you. To to um, practice I started doing this finding out all of this information that I had no kind of prior knowledge of uh, and I realized and, and plus it made me feel amazing um, very very loving uh, and very empowering and so that was how I started channeling and then at one point a friend of mine was uh, she, she runs a program called channel your guide she's called Cara Wild and um, she was she has a podcast as well and on the podcast, she was interviewing people who did channeling and, and interviewing their guides. And I'd never done this because it, it's like verbal channeling. But she said, oh, come on, have a go. So I just thought, what the hell, I'll, I'll have a go at that. And um, so she said, get into your space, however you need to connect. So I was like, close my eyes and um, kind of like connected and and then just allowed this guidance to come through me it was uh, um, she would be asking me questions and I would just let whatever this guidance was from uh, wherever it was coming which felt like a very high frequency and it, it told me that it was from some um, like galactic council council uh, which again I'd never had any connection with and it gave so much information about the planet about the ascension process that we're going through the up leveling processes we go from 3d to 5d all of this stuff and, and information about the about the earth and her processes as we're all evolving together and um it just really surprised me so i just thought i've got to do a lot more of this because it's absolutely amazing and so i did after that i was practicing i was doing a lot more and then um i did a live stream very much like this one where i was talking about the difference between intuitive channeling and uh, vo verbal channeling and how I experienced the difference and this really lovely lady contacted me and just said do you fancy having a chat about that because I'm really interested and um, so I was like sure you know we just jumped on on Skype for an hour and I ended up helping her 
she was already an intuitive guide, a business coach, um, but she didn't verbal channel. So I kind of took on that role that Cara did for me and I started asking her questions of her guides and we just enjoyed it so much that we started doing this every, almost every week we've been doing it and it, the expansion and kind of the, the progress that you get when you have higher consciousness reminding you over and over about who you really are and stopping you from getting stuck in your mind level sense of reality that tells you that you're limited or that you can't do things or that um, certain things have to be a certain way. When you're reminded constantly that, that uh, you are limitless, uh, you're given guidance about why certain things have to happen right now uh, as part of your growth, as part of your, your journey, um, it puts everything into context so that you can let go of, let go of um, doubt and worry it helps you really expand your sense of, of self-belief, self-trust. And at times also we've gone into uh, healing sessions, you know, something might have come up that has been less about information and like more of an emotional thing that, that has wanted to be released. And so it just naturally just goes into a healing session where we would let certain emotional um, blockages go to get us back in alignment, back on track. And my life and, and her life, my friend's life, then they're just not the same anymore. We've, we've gone through so much and it speeds things up. It's, it gets everything going um, and because you just don't stay in your stuff for very long. So channeling is such a powerful, powerful thing to do because you're constantly, whether you're the giver or the receiver, you are accessing source energy or higher levels of energy. And that always shifts the vibration that you're being. Um, so it's, it's such an, um, a really powerful thing to do. Um, if you want to also, you know, as I was saying before, anybody can do it. It is, we have the, all of us have the capacity to do it. Um, you just need to be able to drop out of your mind, connect to your heart and ask and ask, ask for higher guidance to come through. You might like to try it with, with writing first or just even just energy. When I actually, when I first, um, I didn't know I was channeling at this point, but I remember I was traveling and this guy I was traveling with, he'd, he'd, uh, he'd hurt his arm or something like that. And I was just, I don't know why I started doing it. I was just, he, he was asleep and I just started running my hand above his arm uh, and just kind of like sending energy into it. And his arm started twitching and he started moving. And then when he woke up, the pain that he'd had in his arm had gone. <laughs> so I was thinking, wow, what was that? So, you know, just play. There's the, you can't get it wrong. Um, the only thing I do have to say though, is when you, uh, go to someone else for channeling remember that when higher consciousness is being brought through someone it's still coming through their filters so be really discerning about the information that you take in don't just take it as truth you have to feel the truth within your own body within your energy and your your if something doesn't feel right throw it out there will be Plenty of stuff in there. If the intention is clear, there'll be stuff in there that you can sort of cherry pick and go, yeah, that, that really feels right. Mm, that, that doesn't. So just be really aware of that. It, you know, we're all human. So this higher consciousness, it has to um, use what it's got. Um, but yeah, don't just give your power away to someone because they can channel, you know, and I think I've definitely done that in, in the past myself. So, um, if you want to uh, start channeling, there's all kinds of people who are teaching people how to channel. There's all kinds of stuff on YouTube that's um, channeled transmissions that you can, um, you know, just listen to. And the best thing to do is like open yourself up again and feel the vibration, feel the truth of it. If it feels like it's expansive and light and and loving, and you get some kind of um, no, like it. I always feel like I've got a sense of expansion and lightness. 
um, my heart feels much more open. If that happens, then, you know, just keep exploring. Um, there's so much of it available. And I think more and more people are doing it. If you'd like to have a channel session with me, you can go to my website and I'll put the link in the um, box. But I do channel sessions for 90 minutes or you can uh, do a set of three uh, for 60 minutes each. And these are like if you do it for 90 minutes, it's, it's about breaking through something that where you're stuck on, you know, getting um, getting rid of confusion, finding clarity, breaking through and, and just being able to trust what's in your heart so that you can let go of all that confusion and all the head stuff that's been keeping you stuck if you do if you want to do if you've got more of a um a deeper issue then it might take a few more sessions to actually break through whatever's holding that energy in place that's keeping you stuck uh, but channeling is fast it's it's that's why it's so good because you're not slowing down the process by um Com coming through so much through like intuition you're it's directly from them to you and it's like it cuts through like a hot knife through butter so it's really powerful it's, it's really empowering and um uh, it's you know it's just really fun to do it so if you would like to experience that do get in touch and if you've got any questions about channeling or you want to um i don't know i might, I might know some great places to send you to if if you're looking so if you've got any questions or comments that you'd like to um, put in the box, I shall. I would love to hear from you. Um, other than that, I will see you next time, uh, uh, next Thursday, probably at one o'clock.